G4 does not promote the use of illegal drugs, but what you do with them is your own business. Jerry. Oh, hi, Mary. Hey. You sound kind of down. Is there anything wrong? Just thinking about today. You know, Hitler's birthday. I didn't know you were Jewish. I'm not Jewish, Jerry. You don't have to be Jewish to get bummed out about Hitler's birthday, anti-Semite. No, wait, oh, I like Jews and gypsies. I'm half Jewish. <laughs> But not now, Jerry. I'm busy. Uh, double thumbing your butt again? No, dude. I'm playing my ass and exploding space rocks. Damn it! Come on! And thanks to you, my ass lost. Again. Ah, uh, I don't want this. Why not, dude? It's your joystick. What's the matter, Jerry? Good news. Mary thinks I'm an anti-Semite again. Dude, that's ridiculous. Everybody knows you only gargle kosher sausage. That's what I said. It's all because I didn't know it was Hitler's birthday. It is? Oh, dude, it is! Oh, yes! Dave, I don't think that's anything to be happy about. Are you kidding? It's the most important day of the year! My high holy day, Jerry. Ramadan rolled into Easter. Halloween smeared all over St. Patrick's Day. Kwanzaa... Christmas until it cries. Dude, it's kind of messed up to get that excited about Hitler's birthday. Hitler has nothing to do with it, man. It's 420. Oh my gosh, 420. 420, dude. The 20th of four. As tradition dictates, on this most holy day, we will smoke tons and tons of green bud and play the best video games I've ever made. Rope-a-dope, Weed Racer, and Sir Lancepot. We do this to celebrate the legend of Jester Hopperpot. Also known as the story of 420, dude. How does that legend go again? Jester Hopperpot was a hippie who developed weed so strong that he felt like it had to be hidden. He booby-trapped this route to this hiding place so that no one could ever find it. Then, years ago today, Jester Hopperpot disappeared forever. And when he disappeared, so did the greatest stash of weed man has ever known. Why didn't he come back? The theory is that he got so high, he couldn't find his way back. Didn't he have a map? That, my friend, is the worst part. Supposedly, he did have a map, but he was so high, he forgot to bring it, and no one knows where he left it. What a tragedy. Dude, the tragedy right now is that we don't have any weed. I smoked my last sticky nugget right after breakfast, so unless that's a bag of weed in your pocket, we have to go score some green. Dude, I like what you've done with the place. Now, about that weed. No weed! What you talking about, Jamie? 420 is over, dude! It's over, over, over forever! Haven't you been watching the television, dude? Reading the newspapers? Tuning in to the frequencies? Here at the Mexican border, Nancy Reagan's new war on drugs has just intercepted 200 million tons of marijuana destined for American markets. Nancy Reagan, so hard her false teeth fall out. We will not be deterred. We will celebrate our holy day in the traditional manner with the sticky, icky green space kryptonite and the veneration of the god Jester Hopperpot. And with these victories in the war on drugs, I am now turning my attention to some of the other problems plaguing this country. Poverty? Cancer? AIDS? Something much worse. Video games. I have a list, and I am starting at G. Game of Vision, I am coming for you. Not to worry, amigos. I got this handle. For Nancy hooked up with that senile old coot. She and I used to do a little backseat wrestling. Yo, did you win, bro? Depends on how you define victory. Dave, is Nancy Reagan gonna shut down Game of Vision? Who gives a f I got bigger things on my mind, like how to destroy my mind. We need to find some weed, dude. That bus is gonna make this town a weed desert. There's gotta be some left in Sunnyvale. Now think. Wait, I heard of this pizza place called Three Person Mafia. You can call them and you ask for a guy named Grotini and you say you want a dirty pie. They're supposed to bring you weed with it. Then why the hell are you still talking? Call him. Three person.
Larson Mafia Pizza. Rotini speaking. Hello, I would like a dirty pie. You mean a dirty pie? Yes, a very <laughs> dirty, <laughs> dirty pie. The dirtiest pie you have. Delivery to Game of Vision. You got it. That's good, but we have to cover our bases. Hello? Hey, Mom, it's Dave. Hey, remember all that weed that you and Dad confiscated from me in high school because you guys weren't cool and didn't like me high on my mind 24-7? Mm-hmm. Hey, can I get it back? Dave's trying to lay dibs on the reefer! Screw that to Dave's 420! I heard that, old man! David, I have to go! My own mother will not give me weed, Jerry. I don't want to live this way. I'll admit it. 911, please state your emergency. I need some weed! What is your location? Wait, 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 wait. Pizza's here! Uh, I'll get back to you. So, is this the, uh, dirty pie? The dirtiest! Mmm, it's good. Now, where's our dirty pie? You're eating it, bro! Everybody in the kitchen sat on that. And that cheese is not cheese. Hey, Todd. Yes? You want some pizza? Happy 420, dude. Wait, did he just say 420? I must to the turnip patch! Hello, Nancy. I knew you'd be back. I'm not back, Bob. I'm here on official business. Hey, maybe we should take this somewhere's private. Step into my office. You show some respect, suits? You don't need nothing, honey. <laughs> I got this place stocked with whips, chains, and fur handcuffs. Just like old times. We could do this soft and sweet, or we could go prison rules. Ladies' choice. Your games are pulling America down to the depths of perversion. From now on, every cartridge you sell will have one of these labels. Drug use? Deviant sex? That's preposterous. We don't make nothing but squeaky clean games for squeaky clean boys. Hell, we got one so clean it's called shower time. I'm soupy, but I still feel dirty on the inside. But if you put them labels on my games, they're gonna stop selling. That's the idea, Bob. Benny, get in here and unlock your papa. I'm gonna unlock you later, but first, I'm gonna eat every inch of your fruit roll up underwear. Mmm, mmm. Oh, you like that, hmm? I don't like it. Foot roll up mixed with your humiliation. Make it heavenly. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I got you, Bumblebee. Quick, Jerry, get me the bong. So what's your thinking here, Dave? Dude, this bee pollinated pot plants. Therefore, if we smoke it, we might get high. Oh, dude. Is it working? I forgot. I'm allergic to bees. Is that a good high? I have a pretty open mind. I'm going to say no. Make sure I don't bite my tongue off, man. Here we are, Tiffany. A year ago today on 420, I sighted a hairy beast, eight feet tall, with eyes like the devil, and an unholy horn on his head. Yes, he was the legendary and mythical Manicorn. A half-man, half-beast creature said to live at the center of the Earth. Hibernating, only emerging for a couple of hours each year on 420. How do you know I'll come back, sexy Todd? Oh, I just want to gobble ya! He told me his name! It was Carl. Carl the Manicorn. He said that if I never told a soul about what happened, he'd share a secret with me. And tonight I feel that secret shall be revealed. Have you seen my cat around? Every night I wake up and catch him trying to steal my breath. I thought Dr. Freckles was dead. It turned out he was just sleeping. <laughs> nice going, Jerry. You found Dr. Freckles. Oh, God. Gross. No, that's exactly what we wanted. I've been blowing smoke in Dr. Freckles' face for 14 years, and everyone knows that drugs stay in your hair. Ergo, Dr. Freckles' hairball will be a potent source of stoniness. Check and mate to me. Blech. Let me try that. <laughs> Yeah, that's fun, but it doesn't get you high. I guess Dr. Freckles only got secondhand smoke. We, on the other hand, have gotten a lot of firsthand smoke. Thus, it follows that our hair will work better to get us high. Yes, I am a genius. I'm not shaving my head. Not your head, dude. I can't. Why not? Because I already shaved it. You know, to make everything look bigger. For who, dude? For me, Dave. Okay, I did it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking hair is not as cool as you think. You realize that this leaves us with no other choice. No, Jerry. I don't like it either, Dave. Jerry, no. Dave, yes. We have to go talk with Laird Booney. Ah, come on, man. I hate Laird Booney. I hate him so much. Here they are. Come and get them, nerdos. <laughs> I can't 
can't even tell if these are the ones we ordered. They're totally covered by this warning sticker. Are these stickers true? That's what the invasive, overreaching liberal government says. Then we'll take them all. Hey, guys, check this out. This is awesome. My big brother won't even buy me beer. Oh, boy. I am so boning my stepsister with this game. More where those came from, boys. Yeah! <laughs> Hey, Laird, it's me, Dave. Dave's not here, man. No, man. I'm Dave. No, man. Dave's not here. Oh, damn it, this is gonna take forever. This is the most sincere turnip patch in the world. That's why the metacorn will come. Ooh, that's amazing! Holy crap, Carl. It's that little fat kid from last year that you dump trucked. We'll pay more of him in an hour. Who is it again, man? Dave! Dave's not here, man. Let me try. Hey, Laird, it's me, Jerry. Hey, Jerry, man, come in. Oh, who's this guy? Uh, Dave? Oh, Dave's not here, man. Sweet! Can we buy one of those plants and smoke it right now, please? Of course, but it won't get you high. I told you we shouldn't have come, dude. Won't it get us even a little high? Not even the teeniest bit, man. I have developed the perfect pot plant. Ideal for a thousand uses, but absolutely incapable of getting you stoned. Dude, why would you even do something so retarded? Friend, getting high has turned the world against this most magical plant. Do you have anything that'll get us high? I might have one thing, but it'll cost you, because it's antique, man. Fine. My life savings, but it'll be worth it once we are smoking that sweet, sweet antique rope. Nope. It's heirloom hemp, man. We'll take it. We need something for 420, man. <coughs> oh, you can't smoke rope. Did you say 420? Yeah, 420, the day Jester Hopperpot disappeared. Jester Hopperpot was my best friend. Whoa. Jester and I met at one of the first acid tests in La Honda, California. Jester produced a bong from his pouch, and I produced some weed from my pouch, and this beautiful maiden produced a lighter from her pouch. Jester dreamed of developing weed that would get you high on just one hit. He drove a psychedelic school bus called Farther. Last time I saw Jester, he was driving that bus into the sunset, man. And it was packed with killer weed called... Hiroshima, because it was so potent, dude, it only took one hit. That's what they tell you in school, man. But that's not the truth. What do you mean? He did have a few hundred pounds of Hiroshima on the bus. But the real reason Jester had to split was that he stole the Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence? Yeah, man. You know what that thing is made of, right? Every stoner knows that, hemp. It was the sweetest hemp the world had ever known, grown by George Washington himself. Jester was going to take it to a secret stoner cave and smoke it at the end of his favorite Grateful Dead song. Well, if he never came back, maybe he's just dead. And if he's dead, maybe he left some weed. God, I hope he's dead. Whoa, man. That's a heavy thing to wish on my man Jester. Did he leave anything behind? Like, um, like a, like a map? No, no map. But he did leave this. That's a map, dude. Hey, it is a map, man. Yeah! We will find Jester Hopperpot's legendary stash. And we will call ourselves the Stonies. Stonies always get high. Listen, team. Jerry and I have discovered the possible location of a psychedelic school bus filled with one-hit wonder weed and the Declaration of Independence. I know 420 doesn't mean as much to the rest of you as it means to us, but I hope you'll join us in the search for Jester Hopperpot. Is that the guy that once made a bong load last for eight days and eight nights? Yes. I heard he married a pot plant and smoked it at the reception. Correct. And if you pray to him, he can help you find stuff you misplaced when you were stoned. That's not true. But he was the first Waspafarian, or white guy with dreadlocks. I'll go with you guys, even though Jerry's an anti-Semite. Come on! You got my smokes? Yep. Then Benny's your man. Um, I have a pedicure schedule. We don't want you anyway. I don't understand. Shocking. You stay here and do squats. Count me One, two, in. Three, because I like exploring One, two, caves. Three, four, What do you want? Not your sicko specials, dude. We just need to find a hole in the ground. The only hole here is out back. Mm. All right, people. Let's do it. Go. 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 Dave, this is a toilet. What <laughs> ass is this? Oh, is this is an awesome adventure. Congratulations, Dave. You just got us all trapped in a septic tank. Jerry, get the dope rope fired up. It can be used as a torch. At least it's good for something. That one? <laughs> 
Hey, man, look, a big cave. Who is this guy again? The Rubik's Cube, Stoner's Nightmare. There's some kind of algorithm for this, right? Oh, no. Tear gas. Look, I'm already crying. You're crying because you're a pussy. That's sober gas, developed by the military for breaking up hippie demonstrations. One deep breath, and you can never get high again. That's unthinkable, man. I'm a game master. Now, what would I do if a game is too hard? You cheat. Yes, Mary, yes. Everybody, we got to change the stickers. <laughs> A rain stick? Maybe it's a shofar? No, Mary. Actually, a shofar isn't straight like that. It's usually spiral in shape and made from the horn of an animal. It's not necessary that the shofar be made from a kosher animal, but it's generally accepted that a cow horn should not be used because of that animal's association with a false god Baal. Fine, Jerry. You're not an anti Semite. Shalom. That's a didgeridoo, man. Oh! The One Note Nightmare, second only to the bongos and popularity with the burnouts. Can anybody play one of these? I played the tuba in my high school band. Of course you did. Why wouldn't you? My God, girl. Can you think of any more ways to make yourself If you guys don't want me to try it, I'll just back my way. Come on, Mary. You can do it. Come on. Nothing's happening. Look out! Throwing stars! Those aren't throwing stars. They're Razor Edge Frisbees. Run! Killer Frisbees! Blow, Mary, blow! Use those DSLs! Your boring skills are working! Man, all these tunnels look alike. What the f is up with the beanbag? That's not a beanbag. That's a Rasta colored hacky sack. Not cool. Who cares? Not cool. Literally. Hilarious. Okay, people, let's go. Marijuana. Mary Jane. Green. Kind. Dope. Stank. Skunk. Indica. Sense. Pot. Grass. Bud. Ganja. Bon low. Dubid. Gak. Dank. Troll. Sniper. Jolly Green Banana. Viet Chong. Congolese Crippler. Warlock. Short Bus Biofuel. Tom Bombadil. Redheaded Stepchild. Riddler. Jungle Fungus. Cro-Magnon. Vancouver Salad. Topanga Brain Gank. Short Term What? Polynesian Brush Fire. GED Test Prep. Polynesian Pink Eye. Incredible Hulk. Take it, Dave! Getting there. Manchurian Candy, Hobo Harvest, Mojave Dry Mouth, Solvent Heston, Chin Strap, Cambodian Ball Gag, and Arabian Crime because it gets you so stoned. We did it! Jester Hopper Pot Psychedelic School Bus. I'm inside the world's sweetest stash. The sweetest stash the world has ever known. Oh, hey, man, it's Jester. Oh, he looks weird, dude. Exactly. Jester Hopper Pot was going to listen to his favorite Grateful Dead song and smoke the Declaration of Independence at the end of it. <laughs> Grateful Dead and their endless jams? Actually, it looks like he had it on repeat. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that we are stoners, and we are about to get extremely high. Stonies always get high. Wait a minute. Laird Booney's here. That means our adventure really happened. Yep. You came over to my place, we got high on rope, came here to watch your copy of The Goonies. What a wonderful adventure. That's not an adventure, that's a regular day in Sunnyvale. You are now forbidden to place warning labels on any kind of your satanic games. But the kiddos love them. How am I supposed to sell games that don't promise to get you high and laid? Not my problem. I have to go buy expensive dresses and think of what I can say that will end drug use forever. No! That's an excellent idea, young man. Just say no. No! You're right. It's perfect. What the hell is going on? This is not what 420 is about. Isn't there anybody that knows what 420 is about? Sure, Dave. I can tell you what 420 is all about. Not some stupid myth, man, but the real legend. Lights, please. And there were four stoners at San Rafael High School, man. And lo, they'd meet after school to smoke weed at the Louis Pasteur statue, man. And they weren't afraid of the, of the vice principal, man. Behold, the weed brought tidings of great stoniness, man. And on earth there was peace among men, man. 
And that's what 420 is all about, Dave. I mean, this is dialectical, man. I mean, what are you gonna do? Uh, this is whole numbers. You, you, you can't drink a quarter of an eggnog. You, what are you... Why don't you get a haircut? Happy 420, everybody! The manicorn will be here, Tiffany. That's what you've been saying for hours! Patience, my dear, please! Don't you, my dear me! I'm leaving no matter how sexy you are! Fine! Get out of here! Fine, I'm going! The great manicorn! Fill me full of your ancient secrets! Ooh, Jake, go get my tire iron, axle grease, and some earplugs. You mind if I grab a photo to let people know you exist? Absolutely! Now we will see who the fool is. It was the sweetest hemp the world had ever known.